The Power of the Phone – How Your Cell Phone Can Help You Prepare for Any Presentation These days, most of us have pretty high expectations when it comes to our smartphones, and most of the time, they do come through for us. In the past, a presentation would have required much heavier equipment, but today, at the very minimum, we can use our smartphone to enhance our presentations. In some cases, we can even use it instead of a laptop to run the whole thing. In this tutorial, we'll explain how your smartphone can help you prepare for your presentation. Presentation Apps If you've created the presentation on your computer, the first thing is to get the presentation file on your phone and open it. Depending on the operating system of your mobile phone, you can transfer the file via Bluetooth, email, or save it to the cloud so you can download it to your phone. If you have an Android, you may be able to transfer the file via SD card. If your computer has an SD card reader. Getting it to the big display. Once it's on your phone, the challenge then becomes getting it from there to the monitor or projector. Many of the higher-end phones have an HDMI out port that allows you to connect the device to the monitor or projector with an HDMI cord. Many are only compatible with certain file types. Remote Control Even if you're running the presentation from your laptop, you can use your phone as a remote, allowing you to roam around the stage or room instead of being chained to your laptop. Connect the phone to your PC via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, and then you can control the computer with the phone. Finishing on time Many times when you're giving a presentation, you're provided with a specific time slot to do so. Therefore, you can use your phone as a timer device to make sure you stay on track and finish within your allotted time. There are apps that you can download, or you can simply use the timer function that's built into the clock app on your phone. Speaker notes to keep you on track. The presenter view feature on some presentation software is great because you can put your speaker notes on the screen while projecting the slide to the monitor or projector. This is a problem, though, when you have to be at a podium where the microphone is and your computer is across the stage or even across the room connected to the display source. In this case, as long as you've loaded your presentation to your phone, as mentioned previously, you can use your phone to display your speaker notes. Adding sound effects to presentations You may find yourself in some situations where you have sound effects in your presentation. But then when you get to your venue, there are no speakers attached to the visual equipment. If this is the case, you can load the sound files into your phone and then play the sound at the appropriate moment within the slideshow. If you're standing at the podium with the microphone, the sound will be projected into the audience. Voice Recorder Typically, at the end of the presentation, you'll offer the audience a chance to ask you questions about the material. You can use a voice recorder on your phone to record these questions and perhaps include them in your next presentation. Most phones have a voice recorder built in, and if you don't, there are many options available in the app stores on both Android and iPhone. Keep in mind, though, when doing a Q&A session, repeat the question to make sure the recorder picked it up and to clarify since some of the other audience members may not have heard it. Conclusion in closing, when you're giving a presentation, don't forget that your smartphone has a variety of functions that can help you, from loading and even creating your presentation onto your phone, to use it to keep you on track or load sound effects to enhance your presentation. There are so many ways to use it. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.